Julian, congratulations on the victory, man. And the first thing I got to say is the hair looks good, but it's, it's not going to be there for much longer. It's not going to be there. I lost a bet to a friend back in 2020. We were betting the Nuggets were coming through. I was like, they're going to make it. I thought they were doing good. They beat the Clippers. I was like, oh, they're taking out L.A. We made a bet. If I won, he had to tattoo the Nuggets. He's from San Francisco, so he's a Warriors fan, diehard. Tattoo the Nuggets on his forearm, and I just had to shave my head. I had to announce it after my fight. I am a man of my word, so now I'm going bald. Okay. We doing that tonight? We, yeah, we get, probably. getting the razor out right away? I, maybe. You know, let me, let me give a couple <laughs> days. I don't know if I have any cuts in my head, but it's going to hurt. But we'll see. Well, man, even if you shave the hair I, I, tonight, I got to believe it's, it's a great night for you. I mean, everybody knows it's two and a half years, you know, what you went through to get here. Can you, can you put it into words? How does it feel getting this win tonight? Man, dude, it's, it's amazing. This is what I'm here for, man. I'm here for exciting fights. I'm here to get paid. I'm here to get laid and here to have some fun. That's exactly what I did tonight. Came in there, made it super exciting, had everyone leaning towards this way, and then all of a sudden the Cuban Missile Crisis comes back with another submission in the last moment, and everybody is shocked. Get up, standing ovation. Let's go. Yeah, talk to me about uh, you know, how, how the fight was playing out. It had been, been a while since you've been in there, obviously. How did it feel to get back in those first moments in it and then just talk about the way the fight progressed? Man, it was good. Like, the thing is, is like, I wasn't popping off like I normally would. You know, like one, two, quick speed. The timing from, you know, my first punch to the second punch was super slow. I felt flat-footed. I mean, I'm a striker. I have great kicks. I have great movement. And I was just kind of stuck in the mud trying to push it out. But the problem is, is that he started slowing down. And if I throw and I connect, he doesn't want to be there. That's why I make strikers shoot. It's because I have way too much power. And in the moment that he shot and I landed a big shot, he ended up getting phased, put a whole bunch of them together, went in for the takedown, broke off, landed more shots, and he was faded. And that eventually led to that, you know, anaconda choke. Mm -hmm. And when you were going into that third round and James is telling you, you got to get a finish, like what was going through your mind? Did you feel like he was starting to break or at that point were you, were you thinking he was still pretty strong? Man, he's, a mental, he's mentally strong. He was there. And if I didn't give him a reason to quit, he wouldn't have quit. You know, he was, he was there to bring it. He fought in positions where I didn't think he was going to break out of. He fought in positions where I thought he – you know, didn't really have, and he was there the whole time. Thing is, I just gave him a reason to get out, and I gave him that. And, you know, we've been working on that style of choke for a while, that same entry, that same setup, and it just worked out. I was shocked. I even went over to him as a like, it works. It works, and, yeah, it's unreal. Because of what you went through over the last two and a half years, are you, you feel like you're kind of playing with house money. You just seem so calm. You seem so, so loose all week. Or do you still feel a little bit of pre pressure in the locker room and in the fight itself? Man, I felt no pressure, and it felt weird. In all honesty, I think in this 31 months that I've been out, I matured as a, a man. I matured as a fighter. I matured, you know, mentally in myself that I know, like, I can do this. I just have to control my emotions. Uh, one of the first things I said is to James is, I was like, hey, man, I, I get too much adrenaline. Come back. You guys remember Darren Stewart, my first fight in the UFC? I was geeked up on adrenaline. My body was going everywhere. I was dancing, getting wild. And it was too much that I had like an adrenaline dump. This one was a little bit opposite. I was way too calm. So I need to work on the happy medium to get that, you know, that flow going, that speed going, and that aggressiveness that I have. Because once these combinations fly, there's no one that's going to be able to stop me. You've had some big nights in Vegas, man. You beat Phil Hawes to get, get a contract with the UFC. And now tonight, is this the best one, though? Is this the best night of your career? Man, you know, uh, so far, yeah, it's amazing. Like, getting into the UFC when no one believed you would, Amazing. Winning your first fight in spectacular fa fashion, getting a 5K boson bonus, that's amazing, you know. And now coming back after a 31-month layoff, losing a fight and not being able to perform like I wanted to and still finding a way to win, you know what? Winners win. And that's exactly what I feel like tonight. I'm a winner. A lot of people happy for you tonight, man. Enjoy it. Thank you guys Congrats. so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.